All right, I'm going to show a little short video here. You can see I showed before. This is actually a piece that I repaired right here, and it looks pretty good for where it's at and what it is. It's right on the corner. I didn't want to have to replace this entire piece. Uh, you can see this is faded, but I can sand that out and reach it like that, and that'll be fine. There's also a piece of window trim that goes right here, um, so I'm going to make this work. Um, and I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be. I think it's the best way to do it given this situation. You'll see right here. I've got a piece that's delaminated a little bit. Um, it's just right here on this. You'll see right here on this corner, this edge of this piece. What I've done is I've taken some five-minute epoxy, and I'm mixing that up, and I'm taking that and I'm putting that back in side here as far as I can reach, as far as that bubble is. Just filling that up, that gap up. Nice and even and smooth. I want to get it on all the surfaces there. Filling all that in all the way and then I'm going to clamp that and let that sit for 10 minutes or so. And then I will come back in a few minutes and see how that turns out. But one up here, um, it's difficult for me to show it because it's so small, but it turned out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. If it were in the middle of a panel, maybe not, but on the edge like this, I don't think it'll be noticeable. And it may turn out really well when I get done. We'll see. But that's basically it. I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to clamp it down. And then that will be done. All right, so you can see here, back the light out here a little bit. You can see here, I've got the panel in. See here where I did, went down this side, and you can see that I started to actually sand that edge right there that I epoxied. And it looks pretty good. Um, I sanded it, put one little dab of shellac on it, and rubbed it in. And I think after I sand that whole panel down and refinish it slightly, uh, it'll be fine gonna have a trim piece over that don't forget that and then over here you can see that piece I still got to put the trim piece there of course you've got this brand new nice finished panel all the way um, and it looks it looks great uh, makes me want to redo the entire inside of the trailer but that's just not practical at this point so <laughs> um, you'll see here one little trick I did and I think I may have mentioned this before is that I I uh, marked my holes there for my inside uh, piece where my, let's see here the other one, where the uh, shelf goes in the back. Otherwise, that would, those would probably be difficult to find. So, this is the panel finished up before I put the trim in. And uh, as far as construction, addition, replacement on this side, that is it over here. This is all, all finished. I'm still going to refinish this panel. Just give it a light sanding with 220, I think, uh, from what I've experimented with. That works pretty well. And then go back and do a, a rub-in, uh, sort of a French polish coat of shellac and probably a coat of clear. I've got two coats of clear on this here, and it looks pretty good. So I'll, I'll sort of rub that in there to uh, polish that to match it. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom that helps me to continue to produce these videos and if you got any questions uh, shoot me a message in the comments below i'll be glad to answer those and uh, see you next time